829. Hi everybody, my name is Dylan. Hello, my name's Tristan. Hi Tristan. Hi Dylan. So, today we will be talking about the rock cycle and uh, and, and showing you guys what each of them looks like. Well, what types of them look like. Well, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me grab that for you. Well, 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 this. Today we will be class, first we will be classifying Home of the Rock. Let me say that for you. Sedimentary rocks are formed by compactation. Sedimentation. And requires water to cement pieces together. Our next rock is this big red one that needs to go on a diet. Or metamorphic rock. You have a rock in your mouth. You can't talk properly. Ah. Metamorphic rock formed by heat and pressure. There's foliated and non-foliated. This one is non-foliated because it has spots and you swirls on it and it's not not layered. The next rock, let's put that out now, is this dark, boring, dull gray one. This is rock is called an igneous rock. Move the cat out of Forms igneous rock forms when molten rock cools. There's and there's intrusive and extrusive. This one is extrusive because it cools on the surface before and it cools fast. And it is microscopic crystals. <laughs> and and it is I'm pretty sure it's anesthetic because it's not super dense. It's not dense and super dark, but it is kind of dark. And it's anesthetic. It's in between basaltic and granitic. The sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks can both be turned into igneous rocks. Then, 